for the love of all that is holy. I believe I saw men with pistols at the club last night. <sighs> Terrifying. So you've got quite a way with words. What are you looking at, cowboy? Well, I ain't too sure. <laughs> well, that's a feeling I imagine you're just too familiar with, hmm, darling. Now, shoo, please. I'm waiting for someone interesting to turn up. Bien. Je vous salue. Ah, go to hell. Let's end the What does a beautiful old hag have to do to get drunk around here? Please! Gentle... You're embarrassing yourselves. You're not even good drunks. Ma'am? How are you, my love? What I say, and you'll be rich. Rich, oh, rich, shit. rich. Top hats, the finest canes, exp cigars, a wife with soft hands, a hundred servants, a mansion, a summer house by a northern lake. It's all there for you, all of it, and more if you're man enough to take it. I'm man enough. Yep, I'm yep. man enough to stand here and make a prize dull to myself for you because I care. I care, but let me be clear. I only care about those who care to read. Buy the book, read the book, do precisely what I say, and you'll be the man. Building railways, opening factories. You won't be riding Look, the railway. Move next time. So you're the local business genius. Hello, friend. Do you want to be rich? Sure, I'll take one. That'll be fifty dollars. Fifty dollars for a book? And cheap at the price. You read this and you'll want to give me a hundred more. Forget about it. Huh. Well, you're lost, buddy. I bring you knowledge oh. from the uh, east. Don't, don't, don't the need knowledge to worry of New me. York. I, I don't know your face the from brilliant out. minds of Wall Street brought here to the south to help those wise enough to help themselves. Go. Get out of my 
You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah, <sighs> uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. Oh, my God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They'd bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. Mount up, all right. And follow me to Rhodes. Come on! Come on! Yeah! We'll go around the property and take the road to town. Hey! More! Easy, boy. Calm down. I can't be calm. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. He wants to rally. He got to let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue and her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There, there they are. Ladies, Bo, what are you doing here? Are I cannot let you go through with this. But You'll be killed. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please. Do what? Fight this mob? We must begin. They need me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun. Miss Calhoun. My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a... Protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our
cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. <laughs> We're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook now, the now. food and we fetch Take us water. down Main we Street, right through town to the steps of the bank of roads, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick, and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun, and maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it, but I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. It's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. You sorry fool. Mr. Morgan, I give you the mail of the species. Well, that's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant it. A little further, please. Stop just past the bank. This spot is fine, sir. Ladies! Get down! Come on! Come on! Go home! Shut your mouth! What are you doing? Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. equals. Ah. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Equal and free, just as the Founding Fathers intended. Oh, yeah. Founding Fathers, oh. not Founding Mothers, you hey, silly you old goat. Ah. 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 His philosophy dependent hey. on biology. Sir. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening, I suppose. You need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always was Bo, a cocky little... Where don't we just leave him? Well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ronnie. Oh, uh, what? You'll hit me? Oh, come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. I'm sorry, friend. But let the women speak. Here's... Jenny cousin, he meant no harm. <laughs> Look at him. Who the hell is this? A land of progress. That's a beautiful land we have built. But we all progress all I'm we only all joking with you. Together. Yes, progress is our nation's only hope for salvation. We stay stuck. In the past. In the old... Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We. I'm sorry, friend. <laughs> but let the women speak. Oh, you're silly cousin. He meant no harm. <laughs> Look at him. Who the hell are you? Come back here, Bo. Who am I? Who are you? you? You're like a monkey in clothes. Phil, Arthur, they didn't mean for that. We are. I'm too far.
Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We. I'm sorry, friend. <laughs> Let the women speak. Oh, your silly cousin, he meant no harm. <laughs> Look at him. Who the hell are you? Hi! You're up to something, all right? Who am I? Who are you? You're like a mo- Good lord, don't kill him, all right? Maybe that goes for everyone. Show Show that Yankee fool! In the old ways! And we Brother? will wither and deteriorate just like you Brother? Europe. Imperialism, monarchy, decadence. That's the I guess that's settled then. We gotta go before they wake up. Oh lord. Follow me, I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. One of us, women and men. Young and old, a nation of the future, built for God by men and women inspired by his word. Not one that uses God as a trick to suppress and control. Let today be the day we build a new church. This great American history. This history of You don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... Everyone knows about Penelope and you. I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all of ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families. The Greys and the Braithwaites. We bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't right, you know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. This is awful. Nobody died. Ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but... You should leave. I will. As soon as I have enough money, when my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes. Well, I believe so. But, uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a... Artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. Mm. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Oh, here. Your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. Yeah.
Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff. Well, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Well, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. Losing your employment like that? But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still, don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally <laughs> lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good, honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though, and it is cost in this county its good name and the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you ride with the dip. Get in. Bill and I Archibald. How are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey! Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course. Who else would be? You were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaite's. I told you about the Braithwaite's. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole a fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. That bed rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so, too. Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. Whoa! Whoa! Hold up. You see that wagon?
Keep your eyes open. These damn flies! I swear they got it in for me. You could try washing once in a while. Oh, this must have happened recently. Mm. Hey, come have a look at this. Hey, you should see this. Look, suit and tie, one bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay. We should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. Taking the reins. I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. Yeah. Okay. Frederick Mitchell, Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor feller. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. A bunch of ex army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. That's seven government officials they've murdered this year alone. Go right at the crossroads. Yep. Not the nicest fellers in my experience. Huh? Huh? So the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. Bear right again here. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. Could drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are. Selling moonshine to murderers. I tell folks don't even speak to them. Don't even look them in the eye. I'm sure I wouldn't. Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaites. It's a thing. You've been saying that? The word makes me sick. Now. Anyone we find here, we bring in alive, understood? Round them up, then take this operation down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're dealing with. See? See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. Oh, yeah, was... Well, the way I said... Actually, I'm here to say, he doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? We'll take the right. Let's stop these filthy degenerate tax dodgers. We'll take the ride. Let's stop these filthy degenerate tax dodgers.
I got this one. I think that's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. Oh, so. you think you're real funny, don't you? Tell me about you. <laughs> that is the last time I'll mention it, I swear. Find by me. Hey. Quick, let's go before any more show up.
gun. <laughs> well, forgive me, but me and my men must return to our lives. Ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it. For personal consumption, it's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. But my cousin, Webster, he used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. Only I didn't, quite. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move. We have a life move on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on, you ride with me. Okay. Should I stash this somewhere near camp? Yes! Owe it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always. From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. Ah! That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen, these two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the Young Dutch again. What do you mean, Young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? I would love to, Dutch, but I got some other business to attend to. Oh, you do, do you? You know you'll never outrun me and the Count. Anyway, I'll see you later then. Stay out of trouble. Let's go, boy. Get him. Yeah. 
Hello, mister. Look Hello, old. gentlemen. Gavin. Somebody help me. Gav? Gav? Hey, what are you playing? I've lost Getting my friend. Like Somebody help me, please. And what exactly is your problem? Listen, have you seen... I I'm looking for my friend, Hey there, Gavin. mister. Hello? I don't know any Gavins, I'm afraid. English bloke. Lovely fella. He went missing, and uh, now I'm all alone. Good luck. That's, uh, that's too bad.
Arthur. You going fishing? Yes. Or running off to Como Driscoll? Of course not. <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> yes, very, very funny. I saved your life, and now you torture me. Ho, ho. Shut up. Do you want to go fishing with me? I, I found an interesting spot. We'll do well. I'm not a great fisherman. But I am. <laughs> I'll teach you something. We come? Sure. All right, then. Grab your horse and let's go. What? Okay, follow me. I know a great little fishing spot along the beach. Who'd have thought it? Wasn't that long ago I was tied to the back of your horse while begging for mercy. Let's see. Now we're off fishing together. Uh, how do you know I ain't just looking for a good place to drown you? Because, because I saved your life. Hi, Arthur. Uh, you keep saying that. But I save your life every day I don't kill you. So we are more than even on that front. Come on, you don't mean that. You better believe I mean it. Now, where's this spot? Uh, not much further. <laughs> this is the place. Some beautiful smallmouth here. Bass? Sure. This strip of shore looks perfect. Pick a spot. Seeing lots of bluegill and bass over here. Bait with worms or crickets if you got them. Otherwise, maybe some bread or cheese. Oh, you're right up on me there, huh? You getting many bites there, old Driscoll? I ain't an old Driscoll. I told you fellas a hundred times. I'd only been with them a couple of months. I was just a runner, helping out with the horses mainly. Bottom rung of the ladder. And to think that was the high point of your career. Home goes through men like cigars. They ain't like you folks. You barely knew my name. I'm more Kieran Vanderlyn than Kieran O'Driscoll at this point. Honest to God. Mostly I'm... I'm Kieran Duffy. I hate to break it to you, but I ain't sure Kieran Vanderlyn is gonna stick. Good catch, Arthur. Now see if you can hook another. So, you think Dutch trusts me now? <laughs> That's a good one. What? Not in the slightest, my friend. I can't win. I promise loyalty, he says, but you wasn't loyal to Cone. If I say I ain't got no allegiance to nobody, he says, how do I know you won't turn on us then? I don't know what you want to hear. I'm trying hard to feel sorry for you, but somehow I, I just can't manage to. What in the world? Arthur, are you seeing this? The feather's naked as a jaybird. Is that why you like this spot? My lord, there's somebody who needs to go to confession. Hey, watch the line! Oh, hey! I nearly gulped down a minnow! 
Sorry, fellas. Didn't see you there. Why don't you take a break? Come on in. The water's wonderful. Why don't you get the hell out of here before we hook that maggot of yours and see what really bites? Well, aren't you just perfect charmers? Good day to you, then. Let's try our luck somewhere else. I know another spot where... Hopefully we won't be interrupted. Sounds perfect for the drowning. <laughs> Very funny. Hey, wait up! I'm ready when you are. I've been meaning to try this spot out. Shit! Did you see that amazing bluegill? Sure. That got you real excited, huh? Come on, Arthur, let, let's walk down to the beach. I hope we land this monster. Uh-huh. It ain't easy to catch a fish like that with bread and cheese, but... but uh, you never know. We might get lucky. Guess we'll see. So who taught you how to fish? My pappy, mostly. I, I lost my mammy and pappy when I was young to cholera. Your mammy? Like I said, I was real young. After that, I was on my own, pretty much, but I knew horses and fishing. Well, uh, just think now, you'll never be alone again. Is it that monster? Did you get it? I'm not sure. Oh, it's a fight or whatever it is. Let's see if I can reel him in. Oh, it sure is a fighter. It has to be the big one. You got it! Oh, amazing! Sure wish I was the one to catch it. Well, you ain't known for your luck, Kieran. Well, I guess I'll head back to camp now. Good job, Arthur. All right, then. See you later. Where are you going? What's wrong? That, that big fish didn't scare you off, did it? You okay? Where's my money? Where is it? Uh, what? What, what? What do you mean? Uh, I'm just joking with you. Yep, all right, man. See ya. Hey, Arthur. What are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? Well, I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. 
Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moon? Time we took after blowing up the... Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some rule. What, don't you? And it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses, and all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well... Helping them. You're going to meet your maker. Hello, gentlemen. How are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. Okay, okay. She's at the house. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. Ah! Driver, proceed, please. Out in the hills, thought, thought maybe you was in the market for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's ours. <laughs> well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over. For the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Oh. Relax, I ain't here to rob you. <laughs> oh, it seems that's easy enough. <laughs> Why not do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Pleasure doing business with you. And... Listen, uh, we didn't take it, at least not without orders from... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. Next stop, the road Boom. Here we go. So I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. I wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were, especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the pickets and wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah, that don't surprise me. Yeah. 
All right. This could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood feud. We'll need something. I ain't playing dress up. You know how I feel about that. Of course you're not. You're... You're a clown's idiot brother. Mosea, please. I'm the clown. You're the idiot. Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Uh, put this hat on. <clears throat> Smoke this pipe. Bring your lip forward. Just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. Okay, Fenton, stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. <laughs> We just rode in from up north. Hey. Hello. Hello, I'm Melvin. This is my brother Fenton. Don't mind him. Don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys... How'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come along, Fenton. Let's hand out the liquor. But boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this here bar, in this here town, are entirely free. Yeah. The only rule is that you got to drink them. So hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. The whole thing. Ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas. I'll have more Fenton. Three drinks. A gift! Bounty! It's a sin to look a gift horse in the mountain. When I see a gift horse, I love her. Oh! That's some strong stuff! See the gift horse is all. So drink up! Don't be shy, boys! Don't be shy! It's the land of opportunity! Now it's time! <laughs> Mr. Gray won't be happy about this! Gonna buy. Jump! We're in advertising. Uh, come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn lick! An honest mistake! Boys, get him! Oh, 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 oh. I want both those sons of bitches dead!
think you can steal from us? You're dead men! I'm getting us out of here. Ain't gonna let this go, are they? Over there! They got out the back! Got more coming after us. I see them. Well, oh, you pair of bastards! I us on, they're coming out of the alley! Hey, careful who you're shooting at! Just to go out and cry. Shooting at us. Good shot. Huh. You fools are playing the wrong game. Got me. They hit the moon. I see it. Made it. Damn it, they're still coming. You're an idiot. Use the rail. It's more they don't want another gang on their patch. Yeah. Okay. Pull off the road here. All right. We're good. Yeah. Remind me never to take up a career. What was it? Advertise. You think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Yeah, I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Ma Braithwaite, see what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch.
So, what do you think? About what? The fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. Mm. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retelling of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well... Hosea's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them, or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get an in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. We gotta convince each family that we're on their side, and then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback? I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. What about you? Why are you picking on me? Well, I ain't actually that tough. Why are you doing this? I'm just kind of bored. I'm just gonna ignore you. Hey, Arthur. Can, can I have a quick word? Hey, boy. What the hell's wrong with you all? I hardly said a word. Holy no shit! Way. No way. Ain't gonna live to tell this tale. Thank you. 
Wait. <laughs> Come on now, boy. Howdy, fellas. You I can't move. trust you, you if I can't see much. your face. Hey, partner. Plenty more folks. Hi there, mister. Hello. Hey there, partner. Hello. Howdy, y'all. Hi, mister. Mona! Welcome back. So, what are you in the market for? Well, if that gun ain't shining, glad you take care of what's yours. That gun seems to be well taken care of. Oh, God, not you! Thanks, Mister. Okay, fella. Can I help you there? Sure. They're supposed to be my business partners here. Hey, they're meeting, I believe. Some horses. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican. Yes, sir. Out by the stables. 
Thank you. Have a wonderful day now. Hey, partner. We're good men. Like you. You don't know me. You turn up in this town, and you're helping everybody. And everywhere. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 5,000. 5,000 for horses. Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Fell over there, we'll run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Go to the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbred. Ha! Not in, in front the of you. On you go. Crazy old fool. You should see the Braithwaite woman. Jose and Sean were planning on going over to the Braithwaite. You haven't well, seen them? No, not yet. If they're there. Already, they better keep their heads down. We don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. Five thousand dollars for horses. We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded. So there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. Careful. There's a guard. I'll speak to him, okay? All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Our partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. But perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then. Let's head on up to the stables. So much for going ah. in flight. That, that's it. Nice and easy. No need to rush. We don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. Look 
go! Coming through. Straight. All right. I think that's the stables just up ahead. Hitch up here. Let me do the talking. Hello there. Can I help you boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs. Looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. That's what you're interested in. What is you boys interested in? We represent a famous, uh... Ah, uh, greaser, huh? Okay. Bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing us. All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle, you get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Easy. Easy now. Whoa. Marston, you're gonna... Easy. Marston, you're gonna tether him up to... Easy. It's okay. Okay. Over here. You're gonna lead the stallions. Easy. Ah, just a scratch. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Get going, you two. What the hell are you doing? Stop! 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 I can't stop these... Yeah, I'm gonna leave you to move, you son of a bitch!
so. All right, let's get these horses to Clemens Cove. Quick, before we run into any more trouble. Just over there, come on. Let's get this over with. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. You think they look like they're paying 5,000 for horses? I guess we'll see. Yep. you boys want heard you was uh, heard you pay good prices for horses oh we'll buy more or less anything pop that so sure pop I'm Clay Davies that's my brother Clive we're twins John Arthur Javier <clears throat> so what are you Cuban no I don't like Cubans that's so? Maybe. Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Woo, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you... I can give you 654. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on. Yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Believed a yarn spun us by one of that Gray family and imagined we was going to be wonderfully rich. At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. Taking me, but it ain't too late. Let me go, and there's no bad blood. No bad blood. What crap, man? You were thick. I'm a policeman. Must be tough, looking like you. I ain't in no kind of mood. Officer in need of help. Don't! If you do that, you're no better than them lot. What kind of sorry business was this?
You! Stop! Get somebody else to pull over for you. Wait. What the hell is wrong with you? You down like death. Nah. I think I'll make better use of my medicine than you will. You're just gonna watch me die. Damn. What happened to you? Hello again, Clay. Suffolk Punch. Sure, got a soft spot for these fellers. <sighs> Careful, Clive. That's our profits now. <laughs> Stay out of my way. Who's 
Who's your friend? They for sale. Long as there's folks learning to ride, I'll sell saddlers easy. <laughs> Careful as you go, Clive. Okay, boy. Let's go. You brought me. Let's get. Got heart, the Suffolk punch. Always find a home. Get it fed and watered, Clive. Yep. Well, what do we have here? Mm-hmm. Always got guts, Morgan's. Deal. Careful as you go, Clive. Move next time. Thank <laughs> you. 
Here. Okay, boy. Yeah. Something there. <laughs> hey, look at this stocky little Belgian. Decent market for these. Careful, Clive. That's our profits now. Getting robbed, mister. Give me everything you got. Oh, damn it. Get a move on. Take it. Uh, I guess this will have to.
Okay, now. God damn it! Somebody help me! Damn you to hell! Now, I'm just gonna check your pocket. It's... Is this what you want? Hey, shut it! Hey, pointing that thing at me is... I need your money, tough guy. Don't try nothing dumb. Here. Come on. Just take it. This it? Fine, just... I'm gonna truck. enjoy robbing you. You just ten cat. foot with the mask. Hand on. it over. Hurry up. You gonna regret taking the money. Quicker. Oh. Look out. Now, I'm gonna need everything you got on you. Hey, hey, that's for your money. Nothing else. Anybody Make ever hurt tell you, you that mask is no, no, you got, mister. You won't get hurt. All right, this Empty is your all pockets, I mister. You can be on your way. Hey, the hell you point that at me for? Shut up. Do what I say. Okay then, partner. What now? You really hey, do? mister! Hold up! You know what? Hold it! My God! Hey, you! Hold up, will you? Please, let me It's difficult. Whatever you want. Christ, where's your help? Yep. Oh, Idiot. No. Yep. 
Why is your face covered like that? Oh, hello again. What you need to send? Pleasant travels. Gonna need you to empty those deep pockets, folks. Now! Oh, no, okay. God! Okay, give me everything you got. Yeah, Quick. just take it! Hurry up, or I swear. Please, just take it and leave! Give me, me your money. And save it yourself. Ain't worth dying. Okay, okay, take it. I'm gonna end. Mom, I will kill you right here. Okay, okay, no. here. Close in on it. Shit. No, please. This here. Take it.
trapping someplace else. You want to be careful there, my friend. You trying to annoy me, Fran? Thanks, mister. Ha! Yeah. Keep your damn temper in check this time, eh? Right, let's see. Okay, ran into a glut of these, did you? Sure, got a few of those, huh? Quality hide makes the hardiest clothes around. Don't doubt it. Sure, you'll see a difference right away. Someone sees it. Oh no, this ain't what we asked for at all. What is this, a joke? You trying to pawn crap I've had off enough. of this? Yes. Both of you get your hands up. No! <laughs> you son of a bitch!
Don't be shy, partner. No such thing as a stranger here. <laughs> well, you look like we need to take a load off. Well, ain't this a rare treat? Why didn't you tell me we had guests coming? I'd have fixed myself up nice. Oh, but you know you look perfect, Prince. I ain't no guest, miss. I'm just passing through. Oh, nonsense. Well, come on in. Rest a while. Now, we got food on the stove and a bottle of the good stuff we've been saving. It's decided, then. I'm gonna go freshen up. I appreciate the offer, but I, I best be on my way. Oh, come on, now. How you gonna turn down a hot meal and good company? <laughs> I'll go open that bottle. She ain't primping for hours up there. We'll never eat. Go check on her, will you? Uh, not sure why you want me to fetch your woman for you. Uh, hunger's just getting the better of me, partner. And I figured it'd give you a chance to check out the place. <gasps> well, look who it is. You are hungry, ain't you? <laughs> An old family photo. It got damaged, unfortunately. <laughs> it's all right. Looking ain't a crime. You go on and have a seat at the table. I'll be down in a minute. You should be careful, miss. Inviting strangers in your home like this. Oh, I'm a very good judge of character. I see the look in your eyes. He, uh, just asked me to check on you, that's all. Oh, you don't need to make any excuses. No siree. Why didn't you tell me we had...
treat. Why didn't you take? <laughs> Don't be shy, partner. No such thing as a stranger here. <laughs> partner? Yeah. You look like you needed to off. Well, ain't this a rare t
Sick sons of bitches. You might be interested in this. Seems to be in order. I'll take it. Spend it wisely. So long. Oh, don't let old men wake up. Come on, boy. Thank you. 
You kidding me? Idiot. Idiot. Never come from a man covering his mug. Yep. Yeah. Just stay out of it. Yep. Yep. I'm here for you. They're a war on I don't know about. How the hell you get it so beat up? And this is for you. See you again soon. Oh! 
the heck is your problem? Just calm down. Hey, I don't stand for folks hiding their faces. Take it off. Yeah. You just stay put, huh? You ain't leaving here. Stop or I'll yeah. just leave. Excuse me, could you kindly remove the mask? There, no mask. Well, all right then, thank you. Who let the simpleton out of the asylum?
Easy. Oh, yeah. Here's the son, son of a bitch. Toothless whore. I got Let's just all in the take sky. a breath here, shall we? Move one more inch and I'll kill you myself. No! You might be interested in this. The hell you done to this poor thing? Here, pleasure. So long. This is a tight ranch. Folk here got no time for masks. Seamus? People wearing masks is usually for outlaw business. I figured this might be of interest to you. Looks fine. I'm buying. Don't spend it all at once. See you again soon. Ugly mug.
rangy mutt. Oh, you might be interested in this. Seems to be in order. I'll take it. Here you go. So long. Let's go, boy. Yeah. I don't trust anyone in space you can't see. Up now. Damnation. Idiot. Oh, come on. You kidding me? I'm here for you. Very nice. I'll find a good home for this. Here. Pleasure. See you again soon. Come now. <laughs> yeah, nearly done, boy.
might be interested in this. Well, ain't this a lovely little thing? Deal. And this is for you. Some nerve. Please don't do this. Holy shit. No, no, this ain't happening. You're coming with me. If I were you, I'd relax. This what you want? Dick, you're getting it! Take this! Just die already, you son of a bitch! Anybody help me? Watch yourself now. The hell? Oh, God! Don't. Oh, God! Don't. Holy hell! Oh, God! Someone help! Comfortable enough for you? All right, let's go. Somebody, please help. Yeah, you don't mind, do you? Damn. Good Lord, what are you doing? Ropes off me or else. Son of a whore.
You forget what you saw right now. Not a word about this to nobody. You understand me? Okay, boy. Let's go. Jesus. Welcome back. Good to see you again. Hope your journey is a good one. Tickets ready, please. Hello there, pleased to see you. Enjoy your destination.
can't have you in here if you're wanted by the law. Come on, boy. Yeah. Move it! Thank <laughs> you. 
damn way. You ain't tough, my friend. Want me to teach you a lesson, dude? If you would give me a minute, please. Well, how can I be of service? Pleasant travels. Stop, or I'll kill you, I swear. You're back here. Stop, or you're dead. Okay, 
boy. Yeah. I need up here. Ah, the saloon is absolutely overrun with rats. Worse than I ever seen. I can't get near the damn thing scurrying around. But I need him gone. Give you a hefty reward. Nah, I don't think killing rats is in the cards for me today. Oh, you're kidding me. What did I do to deserve this? Maybe just burn the place down, huh? Seems easier. Well, damn, maybe you're right. Good morning. Somebody's had a few. Morning, friend. Morning, mister. Hello, mister. Good morning, friend. Out there, mister. Hello. Oh, the sweet lord, no! Yeah, yeah! to see you again, sir. Nothing quite like wearing your best day's work. That's the whole set, huh? Nice. Safe travel. Looking to do a little shopping. Sorry, ma'am. Why are you pestering me? Very sorry. Pardon me. I'm sorry. You belong in the hand. Move, Nick. Business woman, you don't look tough. 
Who let the simpleton out of the asylum? I reckon the back of your head might be your best feature. Hello, sir. sir. Hello there. Here. Hi there, mister. Good morning, mister. Yeah. I can't believe that worked. Yeah, well, what you reckon? You just trade chain around your ankle for a rope around your neck? You just shut up, partner. All right? So, what's your plan anyway? You best give us some room, partner. Hell of a business. Oh, well, hey, I was gonna hey, be hey, out for on. you, you know. Ain't done no Leaves me one better than a chain gang. I ain't no Get back in that box. Enough! I get it! Let me... Oh. Guess what's coming, don't they?
Idiot. Yep. Senor Strauss. Those twins who bought the horses are strange, huh? You can Real swag friends. around all you want, but you're still a like kid. Humans. Hey, what? Oh, come on now. It's easy to think you're tougher than you are with a gun in Arthur. your hand. Arthur. How do you get like this? So, what's for dinner? Dysentery again? Why are you being like this? Uh, Arthur, don't forget, I'm more than happy to craft you something if you bring me the right materials. That's Thanks, not Mr. Pearson. And I couldn't go through with it. Why on earth not? Says she needed the money. Her son had lost his leg in the war. I'm very into my crafting at the moment, Mr. Morgan. I'm very happy to make you something if you bring me the right materials. And I felt no, I reckon I need to get my hands on some materials first. She calls it any more than I did. Well, everybody she was hates just a woman. Your Karen. attitude around here needs to change you know. and quit. You love to play the part of the Southern Belle, don't you? Don't start with me, Arthur. What are you doing? Going fishing. The rivers around here, famous for the smallmouth bass. Fella I met showed me a couple spots. You want to join me? Ah, I can't fish for you. You're far too good. Oh, come on, come on. Hey, join me. I'll show you a couple of my tricks. There's Glad you're so excited about this. You will be too when you start pulling out smallmouth. Come on! The fish should be hungry for their breakfast. I thought you said it wasn't far. Too far to walk, though. Yeah, come on. Since we rode out, just you and me. Probably since we went looking for John on the mountain. Uh, yeah. Already seems long ago. How you feeling about everything? Been a strange couple of months. Hey, you know, I can't even return to my country because the price on my head is so big. This? This is nothing exactly new to me. And I'll always be loyal to Dutch. He sees the world the same as I do. If we have to fight, we fight. If we have to run, we'll run. If we must die, we'll die, but we'll stay free. And Dutch, you... You don't feel like, well... that he's doing things a little differently now? You saw what happened with that girl on the ferry. No fight, good or bad, is one without blood. I know that better than most. I think too many people are focusing on Dutch when they should be looking at themselves, what they could have done better. Uh, maybe you're right. We'll cut through to the right here. Ha! The other day, I rode down to the Lanahatchee River. I caught some beautiful steelhead trout. You mean the Lanahatchee River? 
No, 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 no. The, the Lanahatchee. It runs right near here. Yeah, but it's pronounced Lanahassee. Why is everything in English said differently than it's written? Make us feel stupid? Oh, you're asking the wrong feather. Okay, it's just down the hill here. What's wrong, Arthur? Okay, come on. Let's go try our luck. Pretty country. Ah, beautiful. Come on, let's go see what's biting. You take this spot, Arthur. I'm gonna cast from over to the right there, so we're not in each other's way. are more likely to be out. We're lucky we got such nice weather. But rain can be good. Sometimes big fish think the raindrops are insects. Look at that. That's a good-looking fish. Well done. Okay, let's try for another. Well, I guess it's still relaxing even if I don't catch anything. Sort of like staring at the sky. It's your bait, I think. Come use some of mine. Oh, no, it's not the bait. It's me. I've always been a poor fisherman. Especially compared with you and Jose. Just try some of mine. Here. Crickets. Thanks. thinking you remember that stagecoach we held up in Nevada yeah it was a tip from that crooked lawman in Reno we opened the door and it's full of women and children rich but women and children so we let it go and read in the newspaper that the O'Driscolls robbed and killed them all the next day further down the trail yep you know way back in the day Homo Driscoll and Dutch were sort of friends. Friends? Well, not friends, but they had an understanding. Then Combs Main Street got meaner, and Dutch... Dutch wanted to try to live a different way. And now, here we are. Another one. This is an angry one. Told you it wasn't that hard. Look at that. That's a good-looking fish. Well done. Don't rush it, Arthur. He's small, but 
Might make a nice meal. Lucky. It's almost noon. Fish will stop biting soon. Because of the bugs? Yeah, they only feed in the morning, evening, when it's cool and the bugs are out. So, maybe we try a few more, then head back. Fine with me. Another one. Come on. Let me get out of your way. Look at that. That's a good looking fish. Well done. You got this one. Good job, Archer. Ah, oh, keeping you. Not bad, you see? It's the bait. <laughs> it ain't just the bait. I'm gonna head back. You wanna join me or uh you keep trying for these bad. I'll come. Okay, let's go. Either take that off your face or go rob someone. You ever miss home? Sure. All the time. Must be hard being so far away. Yes, see you later. Just I calm down. Oh. Yep. Hello, Arthur. Micah. I got all the fish you managing not to annoy eight. everyone. Yes. Are you? Arthur. 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 There he is. A man of God. I'm just minding my own business here. What now? You sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie whistling. Oh. <laughs> I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. Well, not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. <laughs> Until we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So, I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make us... Statue sing out its secrets. Okay. Charles, I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. Boy. Dutch 
wants us to have a talk with Trelawney about these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Hey, wait for me! Someone got here first. So it seems. By the looks of things, it wasn't a social call. Check the house. Found anything? There's some blood here. That ain't good. Bed's not made, so he must have been here recently. This food's barely touched. Looks like he left in a hurry. Big struggle. Pretty recently, I'd Look, say. I guess tracks. maybe uh, 12 hours ago. But no body? Not yet. Yeah. Went down the path here. How's your tracking these days? All right, I guess. Well, lead the way then. Yeah. Hey, I can see more tracks this way. Hey, look. They continue on the other side of the tracks. These tracks lead into the forest here. Hey, look. Let's go see what those fellas have to say. Excuse me. Yeah. Have you seen them? <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. Ah, <laughs> uh, you seen a strange sort of feller? Sort of formal? Strange? Sure. Formal? Nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? You both better get out of here! Come in! You wanna come at me? Son of a bitch! Okay! Okay, for Christ's sake! They took him to a cabin. Over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left! Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. Let me see you again, you hear me? 
got lucky there, my friend. Come on, let's go. Whoa. Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. You okay? I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. Just depends if any of them involve us. Oh. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, and, well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney... I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked, I'll got damn. You goddamn fool. Do I even want Shut to? Shut it. Now, what are you trying to do? Nothing's oh, ever straightforward where Trelawney's involved. Learn that much. I mean, how much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? He somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. But he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. I guess that's his special talent, keeping fish on the line. After that oh. sack, this will be remembered oh. like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. Uh. 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 That the lot of them? I, I think so. Uh. So you're uh. alive. Allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Look, go get them, Arthur. I can handle this.
He's dumped his gear. Look around. He can't have gone far. He's mine! Let me take him and get out of here. You have my friend. He's not your friend. I'll give you money. Be quiet. Come on. He should have taken the money. I know. I'm a fool. Oh, shit. Thank you. The gunshot! Should be the last of them. <sighs> all right, let's go back for Trelawney. You all right? Yeah. Never goes easy, does it? Sure don't. Come on, let's go see how badly they beat up the slippery feller. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. <laughs> Guess we'll soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held this long. We got out of worse scrapes than this one. <laughs> sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters to us? Ah, uh, I hope you're right. Mr. Trelawney, where are you? Over here, dear boy. Well, he's still here at least. Put your feet up, why don't you? You okay? Never finer. So, who was they? Uh, they were bounty hunter. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me, per no. se. What you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon, looking for a job at the university. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep hearing. It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. Bounty hunters, Pinkertons, lawmen. Everywhere we go, there's more and more civilization. Perhaps this is it from now on. We shall see, I guess.
best you keep moving. You asked for it. Yep, yep. The man who saved my hide not once, but twice. What you want, Micah? Nothing. Just saying thank you, brother. I can't call you brother, can't I? I think I like you even less when you're friendly. You're the first person ever told me that. Mm. I hope you're charging Javier all that attention he's been getting. Hey! That's not called for. Then I'll take your nonsense. Until then... I found this. You said you lost yours. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you. Here, please take this. It's the least I can do. I wish you'd stayed at sea. Oh, just what I Is it too much to ask for some peace and quiet? Come on, don't start this. Instead of that incessant noise. Can't you handle someone else? Bill. Hello, Arthur. What you up to? Nothing much. Why? Well, I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. A what? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... I've found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. Why, who would have even thought? Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, 
I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. So where do we find this friend of yours? Rhodes. Because what can possibly go wrong there? Well, leap away and we'll find out. You sure seem to have got about around here. You know me. I like to make friends and no places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats? Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I'd done my part. Each to their strength, dear boy. You know, you boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. Here we are. We can hitch up outside. I'll make the introductions, Arthur. Come on, hang back a bit and let me do the talking. We don't want to scare him off. Sure won't make many friends hide in your face like that. Partner? Hello there. Hello, Alden. Hello, Joe Zah. How have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. They often are. But how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The witness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. There. Ain't you kind, sir. Call him Arthur. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay. Well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah... If you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there. Feller called Hector. He's also one of the... What did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it. Discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden. Or should I say... Adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. What the hell was that? I thought you might like to see that pantomime. River Road through Siltwaters. And he said, Okay. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. Get back to it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Okay, let's go. This way. Can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. Earning a pittance, the unions are whipping them up, so they want something on the side. Like he said, there, strawberry. Could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to strawberry after all that market business. Didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you, so I wouldn't worry too much, dear boy. All this trouble, you gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. Easy. Yeah! Here we are. This is the spot. Okay. This should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Uh, better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> And I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, Alden, very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. Hey, where are you going? Get back here. Yeah.
so much cleaner. But there we go. Well, that didn't go exactly according to plan. How did we do? Well, aside from all the shooting and getting shot at, we did fine. Here. Thank you. Well, now. Go see Alden from time to time. Let's hope it goes a little smoother next time. We always hope that, Arthur. See you soon! Idiot. You're a strange man, Trelawney. Muddy Morgan, full of insults. Real strange. Haven't you got anything better to do? I met women with more balls. I'm not descending to your level. Damn it. Hey! Have you ridden a horse before, dear lord? Got the wrong fella. Political, you wouldn't be. We got company! Keep the idiots secure! <laughs> you got moments left!
kind of sorry business was this? You must got one ugly mug under there to need that mask. There ain't no need to hide your face, is there? You better know how to use that. Don't you tell no one, you hear? Take that mask off right now. Pal, make tracks now. Go get it! Yeah.
Bigger brains. No, 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 I will not have brawling in here. Mister? Look at all that. Hello, blood. mister. How does scare enough to scare a horse? You want to be careful there, my friend. Hey, I have thrown people out of here for less. Well, hello again. I got another one. You interested? How's things, Alden? Good. All right. This is a little different. Take the coach and deliver it to my contact. He'll pay you well for it. It's a fragile cargo, so go easy. Okay. But the money best be right. Oh, it is, Arthur. Thanks, mister. Okay, boy. Let's go. You might be interested in this. They're a war on I don't know about. How the hell you get it so beat up? Spend it wisely. Hey, fellas. I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now. Sir, this way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Uh, Arthur, welcome. We we're just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks. <laughs> well, he's surely big. But his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliger Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but 
One hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you with a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Using that back there. The moonshine? Born's faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. Not I'm thinking is how about I toy fitting my boot up your hook. No, just snotty old bitch. Jose really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't he? Ah, he was giving his usual flannin. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, I'm all for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. But they really bear me some bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. Drive on the road, for Christ's sakes. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. We just robbed their horses, too. That was you? Jesus. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry. I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they've taken on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery. That's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> You're going to wreck the wagon. All right, then. Yeah. Watch it. worried about them greys, English. Excuse me? You not worried about them greys. In what sense? Well, they knows you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? Here, I'll go hiding back. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> We're here. Stay out of sight. I'll do the talking. What you want, boy? I've... Uh, I've... There, there was a thing... A, a, a thing... At the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. <clears throat> Uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean you no harm. Uh, I, I've come from Donegal in, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I, I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies uh, sort of business. Uh, uh, before the officials got there, okay. they said. Okay. <laughs> Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink, Sean. <coughs> Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. Uh, not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Eh, yeah, straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a feller to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> So, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? 
Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. A bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear. I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely... <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <clears throat> <clears throat> uh, quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses there, uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy place as they was. Fancy, because of some folks got all the money. They can build quite the fanciest places imaginable, eh? Mm. Well, the app. Yeah. Okay, yeah. How are you getting on? Good. Nearly got these things ready. Okay. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellers here. Thankfully, it ain't rained, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> how many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. <laughs> Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was born burning down manor houses. We'll burn quietly. Quiet. There's someone coming on the left. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools? Payroll? Okay. Drop it by the supply shed and... Back to the field. Sure. See you later. It's gonna be a long night.
That's good. It's good for here. for here. If anyone's out there, you better show yourself. Or you can do a quick dousing as well. Think she'll go, Arthur? Light her up! Woo! Would you look at that? Haha! <laughs> now let's go and read ourselves a fat cigar. Come on! 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 Come on!
Let's steal some horses from the stables and get out of here. No, we got trouble. Take note. Help these bastards coming from. More men up ahead. You ain't hit them. Stay with this. This is a goddamn mess. Damn it. Shit. Now those horses are bolted. That's a boy wagon that came in. That horse. Dead. Quite a night. Sure. Interesting little fight Duchess put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Later. I, I got some business. Right you are, English. Another job well done, I'd say.
Wait! Sneaking about here! Oh. How? Out of the way! Who are you? What are you doing here? Hey! Don't you guys have hell? better things to do? Like marrying your sisters? Come on, let's go! <laughs> this. Damn. Don't rush me. I'll get to you. Ah, good to see you. Let me write down the name of that, uh, tailor for you. Well, don't stand on ceremony. It's our hell on my back. Could you please control your hope? Of course. I'm taking us as gently as I can, sir! Well, no need for that tone. You're willing. Oh, God! Somebody! Help! I know about the money. Hand it over. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, okay, stop! I'll tell you. There's a locked box hidden under the coat. Okay, okay. Welcome yep, yep. to Strawberry, my friends. Wait. And to those that live here, stay here. We're a fine.
fine town for fine people. An oasis of culture and civilization in the West. American ingenuity. Europe. Sophistication. Fine architecture. And above all, good manners. All here in West Elizabeth. <laughs> Don't, don't, don't need to worry so you're the mayor of this dump? Let's get... Good day, kind sir. Hello. Enjoy our fair town in peace and be nice. Be nice. Be... Easy now. <laughs> Good job, boy. Good. I've been sort of busy, Dutch. I'll get back to it. Ain't no concern of yours. At least I still give a damn about this gang. You don't give a damn about nothing. How's the weather down there, little feather? What? Hey, Sean. What do you mean? Yeah, what's up, big man? <laughs> Not much. What are you doing? Nothing. Nothing at all. I brought. Oh, hello, Arthur. And what's she doing? <clears throat> She's doing nothing too. <laughs> what exactly are you planning? Just a little light robbery, Arthur. 
Nothing a serious fellow like yourself needs to worry about. And you need to get Mary Beth killed as well as yourself? Away with yourself, Arthur Morgan. We'll be getting rich, not killed. Besides, Arthur, I'm so bored, I'd rather be shot. If you insist, I'm in. We don't want you in. We got this ourselves. I've seen you fight, little feller. You can kill any one of us, but I ain't letting you take her out, Robin, not without an extra gun. But she'd be acting, not fighting. Sounds good. Come on, then. Let's go rob this. What are we robbing? Uh, A stagecoach some fella told me about. Oh, wonderful. Come on, you can tell me more on the ride. Where are we heading? Back up north. It's coming down from Valentine. I know a great spot to set up an ambush. Just don't start acting like you're the lead on this, like you always do. Wouldn't dream of it. All right, follow me. Yeah. Bet. Like I said, you'll be at the side of the road to flag them down. Give them some sob story. Yes, of course. Easy enough. We'll be hiding up above. Once they're unawares, I'll put in a few shots to let them know we mean business. Then move in fast to hold them up. Arthur, <laughs> I guess you can watch and give us marks out of ten. Right now, you're at a one. Jesus. Can't believe you had to tag along and it's just to keep an eye on the girl. Remember the crap you gave me for turning up at that train job with Marston and Charles? I'm keeping an eye on you, not her. I know she's solid. All right. Very funny. Let's cut up here. It'll be quicker. Hey, she's probably robbed more folk than both of us put together. I wouldn't go quite that far. Mary Beth can pick a pocket faster than you can blink, believe me. First time we laid eyes on her, she was being chased by three real angry-looking fellers. And we thought, oh, that poor young girl getting picked on like that. But she had a bag full of wallets and gold watches. All right, just over this ridge, there's a spot that should give us a good view of the road. Let's leave the horses here so they're out of sight. We want a rifle with a scope. If you got one, we'll be back a bit from the road. Coming from the north any minute. You're up, Mary Beth. Well, all right then. You know what you're doing, Ike? Of course she knows what she's doing. As soon as the shooting starts, get low. Get out of there, okay? Come on. <laughs> 
can do whatever the hell he wants. Didn't feel right. Oh, it didn't feel right? Well, you can bust in there and get the money then. Not exactly what we plan. A decent take. Like I said it would be. Next time, just leave us to it, okay? We'll divvy it up later. Let's split up and meet back at camp. And now you're making off with all the money too? Just go. We don't have time to hang around. Bandana, you planning another robbery I don't know about? Huh. Now, nah, Mary Beth. Is the bandana really necessary?
I've had a good run of luck recently. Okay. Robbed a house up in Roanoke Ridge. Robbed a couple of drunken soldiers out near the swamps. <laughs> and what are you about to do? A stage. <clears throat> well, good luck. Well, do you want to come with me? Now, I was going to ask Sean, but he's too much of a hothead. What's the opportunity? I'll bang. Stage. And without much security. This feller was telling me about it a couple of nights ago when we was drinking. It's gonna be coming right through, and the bank reckons the cost of security ain't worth the risk. Now, there'll be a couple guys, but nothing too serious, and lots of money. Easy money. Oh, that's always the dream of every thief. Easy money. Well, like I was saying, my luck is in now, Arthur. Well, then, why not? Who are you taking? I think we need a girl. See, I got a plan in mind. Well, in that case, tell him. You free? We got some work. Sure. What kind of work? Stage coach. Sounds good. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. Follow me. There's a good spot where we should be able to cut it off northwest of Dewberry Creek. And, uh, you're certain this information's sound, Bill? Yes, I'm certain. So what's the plan? I was thinking a little womanly distraction. I figured that much. But what's the story? Route, number of guards, you know, important details? Just do exactly what I say and you'll be fine, all right? How about we do exactly what Tilly says? I feel a lot safer. Because I've done all the groundwork on this. Next time she brings in a lead of her own, we'll all bow down, I promise. I'll remember you said that. You follow orders, you stay alive. That's what they used to tell me in the army. They kicked you out of the army. They did not. I beg to differ, Marion. Have you been going through my things? You shouldn't have left it out. Can you believe this, Morgan? I don't trust her any more than I trust that Kieran boy. I never have. Running with them foreman boys all them years. She could turn on us any minute. Just shut your mouth or I'll shut it for you. You have no damn clue. <laughs> all right, just take it easy, you two. Get your minds on what matters, so we do this right.
inside. Locked. Gonna blow it open. Stand back. Get the hell out of here. Okay, but you owe me my cut. Don't think I'll forget. I know, I know. Go on. My God, look at all that blood. There's more. All right, well, I should be getting on. Okay.
Hey there. You Hector? That's me. Alden tells me you're a discouraged man. Ah, you must be a friend of that Josiah Trelawney. All right. In that case, I've got something here you might want to take a look at. Mm hmm. <laughs> There's a stage heading up from Blackwater. Now, I hear the... Oh, now, I don't want anything to do with masked folk, you understand? Take that off. Let me go, you shit bitch! Son of a bitch! You... Feeling so good about all this. Hey, he brought this on his damn self. Where's my fault his brain got out about damn demons? Hey, you ain't allowed to do that. What kind of devil are you talking with? is in trouble. I got you now. Oh, 
Wayne Holmes? I didn't expect to run into no one out here. Mm. Funny how far a man's debts will follow him. You got some money for me, boy? I seen your name in our ledger. You're with the German? Look, I, I got it for you. It's just, I don't got it yet. It it's up in them hills. Mm. You panning for it? Hunting it. I tracked this cougar. It's rare. Lily white coat, the pelt to more and cover what I owe. If I'm skinning anything, I'm skinning you, boy. No, please, I'm out of work. It's the only way you'll get paid, and, and all the hard work's already done. Fine. Move. We'll, um, uh, need our horses. It's, um, quite a trip. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right, boy, let's get where we're going. Drive! Okay, follow me. Hey! Drive! I'm driving. Make me come out here, make me chase all over this goddamn mountain. Hey, you knew it was a risk. I didn't know nothing. Your name is all I knew. Well, the German-speaking fella then, Mr. Strauss, he knew my work situation was precarious, that this whole thing was a, a risky venture. Wait, risky? I'm mean, I at risk now? Are you threatening me, Winton Holmes? I ain't. No, certainly not. Sir, I'm, I'm merely stating a man without a job, with limited prospects, at those rates, repayment was by no means guaranteed. I said I'd do my best, and I did. You're continuing to annoy me. We're going right here, up the stream. <laughs> this day. I guarantee repayment. Because I'm going to get that money out of you. If I got to squeeze you like a lemon, it's coming out. Yeah, of course. We're on to it now, okay? We're on to it now. The cash is in that cougar, mister. Sure as pumpkins ain't cauliflowers, the cash is in that cougar. <sighs> it better be. Or I'll turn you into a goddamn cauliflower. <laughs> Up here. We ain't too far now. What I know about cats, this one's rare as hen's teeth. I mean, you ever seen an alabaster wildcat? Big thing about cougars is they see you, not the other way around. That may be, but you'd see this one. I've been hunting with my pa. Shot all kinds of cats. Never one like this. In another life, 
I'd have sought my fortune outdoors, not in the hot stinking belly of a tar pit. I ain't interested in your regrets or your life story, Mr. Holmes. Just your damn money. Drive. This is it. Her den. We should leave the horses. Show me. You'll see her soon. Quiet now. Won't be able to miss her shining in the dark. You hear that? There's a cougar in here. And I bet she's white as virgin cotton. The tunnel diverges up here. I'll take the left, you go right, and we'll see if we don't converge down a ways. And look out for her. Yeah, yeah. Your man ain't coming.
Okay.
Yeah. Hold on, I'll be right there. Did you hear about that gunfight out in the cornfield by Braithwaite Manor? Ah, hello. Sorry, I, I don't have anything for you right now, but I'm working on it. You rang? Come back and see me later. Bye. Move! What are you He'll playing? Be God right. almighty! Gentlemen. Yep. Yep. <laughs> In truth, this man deserves no earthly respect from us as a sign of respect to our creator. Could you hold off, please? These words are better than this fool deserves. Now Eddie. is not the time, hey. sir. Oh, Father, what do we say about a man who lost his way so often? He carried that awful war with him, rustling horses with a misguided gang of killers. Oh, enough! Let's see what the law says! Step up. Don't be shy, pal. Welcome back, friend. That'll do a lot to damage. I won't ask too many questions. Thanks, partner. Okay, can I have a quick word? Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? <sighs> Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I... I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off, so now... I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you talking about? Arthur's above a little stick-up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said. Hey, I'll do it as long as you ride with us. <laughs> I got a serious medical condition. Yes, you are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It, it's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but... Very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. This way, bunch of smart Alex. How you get wind of this, old man? We only been down here all of five minutes. Why, you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing. I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. Whoa! What is it, you 
scoped here exactly? Okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Uh, they'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be due any time. Now, let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There! You see, gentlemen? Uh, just like clockwork. <laughs> Just like work. <laughs> stop the wagon! I said, stop the damn wagon! Whoa! Now, don't try anything stupid, and we won't do anything unkind. You know, boys, I. I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear he's rich. Share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay, we're looking good. Must be nearly a thousand. Shit! Hey! Think I see something! Oh, uh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! Out of sight. Stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we uh, get some rest. Yeah. All right. Let's try and get out of here. Shit! Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Oh, look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn! I right, in there. Let's just keep this calm. See what happens.
Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I, 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 why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? Guys, guys, tell me what you heard. I don't... Maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. Ain't me. Better not be. All right. Coop forth. Lo, go check out the, the barn. Uh, sir. <clears throat> Place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside. I'll go round the back. Use them out. Arthur, we'll <laughs> anything dumb, Williamson, you're on your own. Oh, shut the hell up. Quick! Behind these rocks. <sighs> They're coming this way. Perfect. We need to do this quietly. You take the left and I'll take the right, okay? You're right on my side.
else still alive? Yeah, just about. Yeah, I'll deal with you later. We got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got Cornwall on our backs. It was an honest mistake. Hey, state. leave it. Go on, get out of here. Every man split up. Go on, run, quick. Good luck, Johnson. Stay quiet and move. Yes, kid. You got a lot on? Ah, uh, just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well... Worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. <laughs> All right, then. Let's go rob some food. Okay. Hi there, Arthur. Come on. It's this way. On me. You're okay, Ciao. boy. You'll be all right. You know, I might have met these crazies before you've been drinking again no well yes but no that's not how I might have met them I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies mrs. Adler yeah and mrs. Adler did just fine more than fine actually she's terrified but I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lemoyne. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a, a glance, or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Well, out west, it's... Out west is out west. And you're all who you are. Right? Decent folks. But some places down here, they judge differently. Well, I don't know. Guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. Sorry you're caught up in this. Well... I guess their gold still shiny, and their guns still shoot. <laughs> so I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> okay then. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. Yep. Yeah. Feels like we're close. It's a rundown old plantation house down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna want to strategize a little before getting shot at. <laughs> of course. 
They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Yeah, I've been here before. I can see the wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? You see that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. Look at this field. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. That? Someone's on the track. See where he's going. You're on me now. Hey. Yeah. Hear that? Someone's on the track. See where he's going. You're on me now. You sure we want to be this close? Yeah, okay, boy. <laughs> it's all right, boy. I see something. End of the avenue, between the trees. Might be it. Might be. Keep it steady. Hey, big plantation house. <laughs> Must be Katie Bear. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Good enough to me. Yeah. See anything? No. Yes. Yes. They're here, all right. And they're armed. Almost a militia. Look over to the left. Hey, you might want to look over to the right. All right, some tents. Hey, we came all this way, so... Can you look again and see if you spot anything? <sighs> got a Gatling gun up there, too. Well, they got that house locked down real tight. You ain't seen anything worth shooting or stealing? Can you look again for me? You got men everywhere. Off near the porch. Down by the road, we do well to draw them into one spot if we're going to make a pass at this. What else? I know dynamite crates when I see them. We got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot then I start shooting well that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard but hey I'm always up for performance 
You save your play acting for Jose and the girls. Huh. Fine by me. This ain't worth taking. You got anything? Not yet. We're pushing it, Morgan. I know, but I still ain't found nothing. Looks good. Search it. I think we should search the crate. <laughs> Search him.
Here. Come on. This is full of new rifles. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. Yeah. Go, go! Let's haul! Come on. G up. Fall in. Well, you ain't side with the wind. Riders, coming our way. Keep it together here. Hey! Stop! What's a black fella doing coming out of Shady Bell? In one of our wagons? You see, we already dropped a bunch of your people to get this wagon. You gonna make us drop the three of you as well? You hear that? Get me back! Ah. Oh, let's go! Mm. They might... Oh shit! I can't see anyone chasing us. I should think we're out of the foot then, so to speak. <laughs> boy, oh boy. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> we did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to... <sighs> it's good to have something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth bragging. Don't worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like them, you know? Well, so do I. Against my better judgment. Just, you worry about you. He wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackboard. We don't want to tip it out here. But... Yeah, no, but enough. Me and Dutch, and everyone who counts, we know what you do for this gang. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay, then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. Yep. The camp's in these trees up here. Let's get there. Arthur, Lenny, coming back. These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. Morning, dear. What is it? We got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. How come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. 
All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Well, hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> you really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. Ain't it for serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> okay, I suppose. It's worth taking a look at least. If I'm gonna be performing, I better go get changed out of these rags. Give me a minute, gentlemen. Okay. So, Bill, this better be good. It is good. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Strauss? That man. The debtor, Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, no, he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan, then? Oh, well, we're gonna send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just gonna rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town. Nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a uh, insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> okay, let's move out. Ah, oh, sorry, boy. Passing you. Yeah. Whoa. So, tell me again about this big can't go wrong plan of yours. Oh, it can go wrong. Anything can, once the shooting starts. Well, that's reassuring. Like I said, we'll see how it looks. If we can get in all right, we'll send Miss Jones ahead to the bank. They won't recognize her. I'll show you boys how it's done. What are you thinking this time? I don't know. Fellers Boys like the lost little girl. Nobody plays a drunken harlot boy like me. He should work. Once he's got kind of distracted, we'll move in. When I went scouting the other day, there was only a couple of guards. We deal with them and any customers who are feeling brave. And you always fancy yourself as the vault man, right, Arthur? Now I see why you brought me. Hey, I'm more than willing. Nah, best I do it. Oh, and did Dutch tell you I've also been cooking up some deals with them gray boys? What? No. What kind of deals? See, you don't realize, Morgan, I'm out there putting in the work same as you. I've been drinking with them a couple times now. Seems they're looking for some extra security. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Could be something in it for us. Well, just be smart about it. We got a lot of irons in that fire right now. Yes, I know, Morgan. Can't believe you got me going back to Valentine. Don't tell me it ain't a...